Okay, we're looking at uh, Chapter 1, Lesson 6, Writing Algebraic Expressions. And what we're doing here is we're taking words, or verbal expressions, and exchanging it to algebraic expressions. Now, everybody came home with this chart here. And the key words here we're looking for are sum, that's addition, difference is usually subtraction, product is multiplication, and quotient is the outcome or answer to a division problem. The other one that gave us trouble, or has given students trouble in the past, is 12 less than a number. The students always think of it as 12 minus the number, but it's really 12 less than the number. When you see that than, it's referring back to something else, back. So the number, it's 12 less than this. So you're taking the number and subtracting 12 from it. Same here if you see 3 more than a number. So you have the number first. We don't know what the number is, it's a variable, and you're adding 3 to it. Um, so that's confused us in the past. So let's take a look at some of our math homework problems. So they're saying, they're getting a little more uh, confusing here. They're adding some stuff in here. It's 12 less than 15 times x. So we have 15x. It's 12 less than that. The 12 comes later because it's less than. When you see than, it usually means this. 12 comes after the equation. 500 less than a product of 4 and a number. Product means, if we remember from our chart, product means multiplication. So the product of 4 and a number, put x for the unknown number, 500 less than that, minus 500. The quotient of 45 and the sum of C and 17. Quotient meant division and um, the quotient of a number and 6. So it's you write the number and the 6 for the quotient. Quotient comes at the end, the quotient, when you see this phrase. So the quotient of 45 and whatever the sum of C and 17 is. C plus 17, and they're really strongly implying that the C and 17 are added first. So uh, 45 divided by the sum of C and 17. This is really sum of C and 17 you do together first. Okay, we have some word problems. We'll do one of them together here. The Nile is the longest river in the world at 4,160 miles. We'll be studying about that later. Group of exploring traveled along the entire Nile for X days. They traveled the same distance each day. Write an algebraic expression to find each day's distance. Okay, so we don't know how long they traveled each day, but they went, um, um, or how many days, yeah. We don't know how many days they traveled, but what we're doing here is we're taking this Nile River, kind of draw it. The Nile flows from uh, south to north, ends in the delta. Egypt. Very bad drawing here. So I have to find out, we're doing, let's say they travel this far, They're, we're dividing the Nile up into segments. So it, the problem is division, so we have 4,160, 4,160, and we're divided by x. Another way to write that is 4,000 160 as like a fraction divided by x. All fractions are really division problems, dividing stuff up. Over this. Um, let's try it with a simpler. Let's say I had a uh, 42 uh, mile hike somewhere in the Sierras, and I wanted to know if I traveled, hiked the same amount of days for seven days. How many miles did I hike each day? So if I 742 divided by the days, seven days, and I went same distance all seven days, it would be six miles per day. 42 divided by seven is six. So sometimes breaking things down to simpler problems is the best way to go. So the secret phrase is monarch. Thanks for watching.